welcome to Department of Anesthesiology. This is a 5-minute intubation guide video for medical students. Watch, listen and study the step-by-step -step intubation process. Step 1. Before the intubation proper, there are three P's to keep in mind. Prepare, position and pre-oxygenate. Ensure your equipment is prepared and your laryngoscope is working. And check your endotracheal tube cup if it can inflate and deflate properly. After checking your equipment, stand behind the mannequin with the head in the sniffing position. A successful intubation involves proper positioning to align the axes for visualization. The axis in which we view the mouth is the oral axis while the glottis is in another called the laryngeal axis. There is an intervening axis called the pharyngeal axis. The three axes must be aligned in order to view the glottic opening. After positioning the patient, Start pre-oxygenate the patient with bag and mask apparatus for up to one minute before attempting to intubate. Laryngoscopy proper. In order to open the mouth during intubation, use the thumb to open the lower set of teeth and the rest of the fingers of the right hand to leverage on the upper set of teeth. This is referred to as the scissors maneuver. It will effectively open the mouth resulting in a better visualization. left hand insert the curved blade of the laryngoscope into the mouth over the right side of the tongue displacing it to the left and upwards. Advance the laryngoscope slightly until the tip of the epiglottis can be seen posterior to the back of the tongue. Gently advance the tip of the laryngoscope blade into the vallicula between the epiglottis and the tongue with the handle of the laryngoscope pointing away from you at 45 degrees. Lift upwards and away. Lift up the tongue and epiglottis and this will show the vocal cords and the glottic opening. With the right hand, insert the endotracheal tube from the right hand side of the mouth, directly between the vocal cords until the cuff and the double black line passes through the cords. Step 5. Confirm the position of the ET tube. After insertion of ET tube, Gently remove the laryngoscope, style it and inflate the cuff with approximately 5 cc of air then attach the ET tube to bag valve apparatus and start ventilating the patient. The markings on the ET tube at the incisors will show between 21 to 24 centimeters in the average sized adult when the ET tube was in position. During ventilation, perform the 5 point auscultation. Start from the apices of the lungs, then at the base of the lungs, and lastly at the gastric area. If the ET tube is not in the correct position, deflate the cup and remove the ET tube and resort back to bag and mask ventilation. And repeat the intubation process from the beginning. And if upon auscultation, the tube is in too far in the right lung, deflate the cup and withdraw the tube slowly 1 to 2 centimeters. Reinflate the cup and recheck the position of the ET tube. You may adjust the ET depth level until you achieve equal bilateral breath sounds. Step 6. Fixing the ET tube. When the tube is in the correct position, secure it in with tape, and attach the ET tube to the bag valve apparatus, and continue ventilate the patient. Good luck! Thank you for watching!